Hey guys, okay, this is Rob with Luke Head again. She got this Fender, it's a 1976 uh, old Impala. This is an old base coat metallic, but it's got rust pit all over it. Now, a lot of this, like some of it's gone here, but I want to show you guys the power of Luke Can't Fix It. I always tell people, they, they think I'm selling shine, but this is actually a cleaner, okay? It's a paint cleaner. Luke Can't Fix It, watch what it does. So I'm gonna put some on the towel. Like this is an old base coat, which I'm just simply saying it's not a wax. I mean, it's not clear coat. So when you put this on, what you do is you go back and forth. You don't have to rub hard. This is gonna clean and remove years and years of oxidation, neglect. Look how much beautiful paint is still on this thing, okay? You don't wanna put a shine on top of it. You wanna clean it, bring it back. You don't wanna cut it and take it down to the primer, or in this case, all the way to the metal, okay? When you use this, you're cleaning. Old base coats, they get cleaned, okay? I mean, they're straight, you're working on the color. Can you see that? Show up good? Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. When you use this product, forget everything you know about waxing. It's not about shine. This is contamination. This is rust, it's gonna rust and it's just gonna get uglier. So when I do this and I'm cleaning, I'm simply removing the buildup, the contamination, the oxidation. That's all I'm doing. It's not hard to do. You just clean over the same area. This stuff is sick, guys. I mean, this stuff is, I mean, this paint's 76, 86, 96, 2000, 30, 40 years old. Look how beautiful it's coming out. That's just freaking good. Make sure you get the fender, they get the rust and all this stuff. How long are we in? Two minutes, two seconds. I want to keep going. So, you guys, I'm going to hit this spot now on the top. Okay. And here we go. Look at that. There's rust here, guys. But the rust is where the paint is not. Okay. And so the moisture touches the metal and the metal becomes, um, um, it gets wet and it's exposed. So it turns to rust. Look at that. How long are we in? Two minutes, 36 seconds. Yeah. So this is for cleaning, not waxing. So two minutes in, I've done this spot here. And remember, if it's your car, you have the option of washing it first, parking it in the shade. If you want to use a machine, you can use a machine. It's up to you, okay? I always keep it simple. There's so many, you know, you can buy uh, electric polishers, the direct drives, you can get the DAs, you can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And you can buy the pressure washers and all that other stuff. You might as well just freaking have your car painted. Look, so this is an alternative. Okay, it's gonna clean it. It's gonna remove the buildup. Look how nice that's coming out. Wow. You getting it? Oh yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, okay, when I do this, sometimes I see pit colors that are just spectacular. I'm having one of those moments where I don't wanna stop. I just wanna keep cleaning. Look at that. But, uh, can't help it guys I'm like enthused by this it's fascinating to me what Luke Cap fix it can do I mean you just put it on it's old school you know it's just a cleaner no fancy you know whatever this no fancy waxes or glazers or silicones or any of that stuff it's just cleaner and when you clean you can remove the buildup the contaminations. Oh, that rust is so thick you can feel it. It's all gritty, but it's coming off. Wow. That is sick. Hey guys, I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it. 
But man, this is a beautiful color. Wow. Oh, it's got it. It's more than got it. So use this, guys. You look at fix it. Join us in the fight against ugly paint job pollution. I mean, this kind of looks pretty in its own way. An oxidized patina, rust pit, and all that. But that looks way better. And you can see all that rough texture right there, but that's where the rust is deepest. I was able to clean it. Um, but I think if I hit it, I could clear it up even more. Now imagine if I was using a polisher. I mean, it, it would clean better, more effectively, and quicker. But again, you know, I, I see a lot of people selling all kinds of fancy equipment. And it's good because I appreciate it because I do use it. I do this a lot. But you don't always need that. I mean... 99% of the time, keep it simple. This is a cleaner, not a cutter. You're able to clean. This will not make it shiny. All I'm doing is cleaning and reviving. We're bringing back the original state. Yeah, it came out way better. Wow. All right, guys. A 1976 uh, Impala, the oxidized fender. We're able to bring it back. I think that's amazing. So get your kit to, or this, now one bottle, I mean, to do a car like this, you need two or three. But uh, check us out at lookatdetail.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Oh, please like and subscribe. Later, guys.